It looks like Samsung wants to take advantage of Motorola delaying the Razer for the Galaxy Fold 2. We could be getting two new affordable iPhones this year, which will both apparently be an iPhone 9. And we have some images of the Galaxy Note 10 Lite, which are actually bringing a stove. I'm Jaime Rivera. This is the first video of the decade, the first video of 2020. And here's two thousands more. This is Pocket Now Daily, sponsored by Huawei. The official news today begin with deals. I'm actually going to bore you with this one because they're really good. We continue having Apple deals because you know the way Amazon works. For starters, right now we have the iPad Mini 5, which is $40 off in the 256 gigabyte Wi-Fi and cellular variant, leaving it around $639 shipped. The AirPods Pro have a small $14 discount, which leaves it at $235. And then the regular AirPods are also $30 off, which means if you want to get the wireless charging case, they're $169 or $139 without. So yeah, AirPods, not necessarily my favorite, but at that price, it's kind of compelling. You can learn more about all the links in the description. And for those of you that remember the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha, that device that has a screen that's 180% screen to body ratio, which I find hilarious because there can't be anything more than 100% on anything. <laughs> but anyways, if you remember, the phone never got a release date, but many reports claim that it could launch in January 2020. Now we've got some new ones from Abacus that note that the phone is being delayed until further notice, but that the company wants to release some information about it as soon as possible, which doesn't really tell us much of anything. Just as a reminder, the phone has an 108 megapixel camera. The price tag is $2,800. And uh, yeah, it's a crazy display. Uh, let's see in the end what ends up happening. Now we've got some very interesting images of the Galaxy Note 10 Lite emerging that actually don't make it look bad at all. The phone actually has a stove design at the back that resembles the one on the Google Pixel 4. It has a centered punch hole, and we can also see the S Pen in the pictures. Specs include six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, the Exynos 9810 processor, and an on-display fingerprint scanner, as well as a headphone jack. The price is supposed to range from 700 to an $840 mark, though no word on a launch just yet, and uh, I don't think it's gonna happen at CES either. If you remember recently, we've been covering different uh, reports of what to expect for the next generation iPhone. Some with Touch ID, some with Face ID, some with both. Others where it's going to fit in the bezel and uh, others that include the fact that it could die altogether. Whatever the case may be, we started with Ming Shi Kuo saying that we could see a notchless iPhone with Touch ID and Face ID until 2021. But then we got Bloomberg reporting that uh, we could get an iPhone with Touch ID but retain the notch for Face ID. Now there's a new report from Let's Go Digital that shows a notchless iPhone with no Face ID and including Touch ID, which seems to be unlikely along with the fact that we may even get this phone in 2020. I know, I'm also confused. I don't know what to expect, but we're in January. It's kind of early. Even right now, Apple is still at stages where they could be still prototyping. There could be one of each and eventually they'll just kill one of the projects. We've been covering a ton of rumors about the replacement of the iPhone SE, that it's going to look like the iPhone 8, that it's going to bring a ton of the specs of the iPhone whatever, probably the 11. The thing about it is, uh, well, we now have more sources that uh, it's not just going to be one. According to a Digitimes report, Apple will launch two new iPhones to replace the original iPhone SE instead of one, and both will be dubbed the iPhone 9. The sources from two new LCD display orders that Apple made recently, this doesn't mean that both of them will be necessarily for the iPhone 9, but Ming Shiko did say that they will come out with a plus variant for 2021. Well, obviously see how the rumors evolve because it doesn't make sense to wait until next year, or could it? And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2, particularly because it seems that the strategy is going to get interesting. We've heard that Motorola is going to delay the Razer. We're expecting for an official date of a launch, and I can't wait to get my review unit, Moto. The thing about it is apparently Samsung is going to do something about it really hard. We've got a new report that claims that the company is going to take advantage of the delay and launch the new Fold 2 along with the Galaxy S11. And apparently it's going to go on sale that same day. They want to take the opportunity to have the first foldable clamshell to the market. The report mentions that it won't be as powerful as other flagships, pretty much like the Razer, but the price will be under $1,000. Some of their leaks include an 108 megapixel camera and 5X 
optical zoom, which uh, is also coming to the Galaxy S11. I even wonder if they're going to call this the Galaxy S11 or the Galaxy S11 Lite or the Galaxy S11 Fold. If they use that branding and make a full launch, that's gonna be kind of crazy, but let us know in the comments down below, what do you think? Do you like the idea or not of a Galaxy S11 Fold or Galaxy Fold 2 or whatever to launch before the Razer? Because in my case, if the price is going to be right and they bring the cameras, I think that they're going to kill it. But that's my perspective. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know yours. And friends, today's episode of the Pocket Now Daily is sponsored by Huawei. The company is having a big year-end contest in their forums where you can win a trip to Dubai and see the launch of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G or win one of several prizes like the Huawei Watch GT2 and the FreeBuds 3. Just to follow the link in the description to see how to enter the contest. All you need to do is comment in their forums but hurry up and end soon. Huawei Watch GT2, honestly, one of my favorite watches I mentioned in a video. You can learn more about everything in the description. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram. Follow me on my personal handles to see me playing around with these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.